Hello everyone, I'm Jenny. Today I'm making your tea. Um, I personally own this business called Music City Tea. You can go to our website called musiccitytea.com. Um, today I'm here to teach you how to groom in the tea or make it taste better. So you can see we have using teapot. We always use two teapot to making our tea. We never use one teapot. The key making the tea taste good, very important, is the tea well, um, timing, done the right way. Otherwise, all the tea, no matter how expensive, how good it is, you can taste really good flavor. So today I'm going to show you how to do the Chinese tea salmon with using teapot. We can see this is the teaspoon. This is for picking the cups, so we for cleaning. And this for tea, take out or close the spot. We can just clean out. That's all our tea well. And this another piece tea tool also help to move the tea to the pot. And Today we're making the famous oolong tea, the oolong tea called Big Red Loaf. It's very famous. You can go to my website, musiccitytea.com to check what is Big Red Loaf. It's very famous tea. And also name it oolong. And why name it oolong? Because each piece, like a black dragon, is the name of the shape because the shape is like U means black, long means dragon. That's why I call oolong tea. Before you're making a tea, you need to do is warm up all your tea well, get ready. So I'm warm up my yeasting teapot. I'm used two, so I'm gonna warm up two yeasting teapot. Use the yeasting teapot can make all the tea taste much better but I only highly recommend use the using teapot for the black tea or oolong and normally we don't make all different kinds of oolong tea we only use a very good one so the teapot will really seasoning look really pretty and you can tell I only warm up the teapot now we put tea in to the teapot so we use all our tools. This oh, yeah. helps open the head a little bit. The top. See, I can. You can tell I use a lot of tea. Tea leaves. The first step we call black dragon. Go to leave the anchor. So go to this palace. This teapot means the anchor house. Um, so we're done, and then we will put boiling hot water into the teapot. Do as high as you can. So we're done. And then this is handmade or the process the wulong tea, so we never drink it. We always pour out. This call the mother kiss the baby because uh, the mother on the top can kiss the baby on the bottom. So we never leave the water and tea together into the pot. That's why you can tell I drop every single drop of tea. So this is the key part we're using. And we use seasoning teapot to feed our happy Buddha and our frogs. And also use for cleaning our tea well again. Can you tell? The first, first time of the tea, we're done, but we don't drink it. 
this um, warming our teapot and seasoning our teapot. Now we want to get ready to second times. You can tell I pour hot water over the teapot too. It will keep the inside and outside the temperature same. And then we pour out to the serving pot. We only leave the hot water into the pot for 5 to 10 seconds. So you just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And ready. That's the key making oolong tea taste good. Or making any tea taste good. Because Thai too long make all the tea turn to bitter. So. Now we start the tea. We are enjoying this cup of tea. It's for tasting cup. We pour over here. Smell the tea. It feels so good. Now we are back up. Along the wall. Enjoying the tea from the cup. And smelling. Watch. That's so good tea. And then you already enjoy the tea. By the tea is so hot, you use your three finger, cross the dragon, holding a cup, two on the edge, one to the bottom, and enjoying your tea. And all the girl pinky out look like ladylike. And then smell it, and then drink like this. The way you drink it make noise, they help you cool off the temperature. Also, the mouse from here to here, you can feel all the tea flavor. Thank you, hope you're enjoying the tea. Um, go to our website, www.musiccity.com. We will see you there. Thank you.